Hi, I'm Gary Edwards and I'm a voiceover artist and I primarily do most of my work at uh, Voice Store uh, in Chennai. Now, there's a lot of things that people don't really understand about the voiceover and dubbing aspect and, and one is that, you know, they're two entirely separate industries. Dubbing is primarily for cinema and voiceovers is mostly for, you know, ads and corporate films and things like that. Now, um, I dub in five different languages, um, English, 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 and English. Right. Uh, so those are my five. Um, so obviously, yeah, I, I only do one language, which is English, and um, and I don't dub. I, I don't do anything cinema oriented because, as you can imagine, it would be very difficult if you heard, you know, Vijay or Vikram or Surya sounding like this, especially in a Tamil film. That would be disconcerting. But I am here to tell you that there are some great opportunities available in the industry because unlike most industries in uh, in the entertainment sphere. Um, Dubbing and voiceovers are entirely talent based, right? So if you have a good voice, if you've got good command of a language, um, and if you're capable of, you know, a, a fair amount of control, which you learn along the way, um, you realize that, you know, there's a lot of money that can be made from it. And uh, you, can, you can turn this into a very lucrative career. Um, so the first time that I started to dub, this was about um, seven or eight years ago, um, and Vijay from The Voice Store, um, he kept asking me to come in and, and, and do, you know, uh, do, do a couple of samples and I kept saying, okay, how much money do you make doing it? And then he told me how much money it was and, and I was like, yeah, I, I don't want to do that. It's not enough money, I, I wouldn't really. And he just kept pestering me and pestering me and pestering me and then finally, I said, okay, you know what, I just need to get this guy to stop pestering me. So I showed up, I did a couple of samples. And then the samples went out and in the first year that I was doing uh, voiceovers, I think I did maybe four voiceovers that year, which came to a grand total of something like 8,000 rupees. And, uh, and I remember thinking, oh man, this is really not worth it, but it doesn't take a lot of time and you know, so what, I'll just you know, go ahead. Um, now, seven years later, and I'm doing somewhere between 30 and 40 voiceovers a month, yeah, suddenly, you know, um, and, and I'm also charging a lot more money, by the way, um, and, and it becomes a really good idea. Um, and in fact, you know, it, so much so that something that I started for fun on the side has become almost my main focus uh, when it comes to work. So I'm here to tell you guys that if you're out there and you have the talent, come in. Right, find a studio, do a do a couple of samples, put it out there because you never know what could happen. You could be the next big voiceover legend. Um, aside from that, there's you know there's there's great opportunities in terms of just meeting people, having fun, enjoying yourselves. It's a great environment. Plus, there's the added advantage that you can wear anything you want to work. Right, I usually walk around in shorts. Okay, that's that's my thing. Right? You see me in shorts, I'm here to work because I like to be comfortable when I'm working. And there's not a lot of industries, like if you work in an MNC right now, you can't wear shorts to work. Can you? No. But if you're in the voiceover industry, wear anything you want, right? Show up half naked, it's fun. It's all good. Right? So it's, it's, just, it's just a lot of fun and you just get to meet some really, really fun people and I think that that's uh, the best part about it. Which is not to say that it's easy. Okay, there are challenges because sometimes you're going to have things like, um, you know, too much dialogue, not enough time. Sometimes you'll have the exact opposite. You'll have barely any dialogue and they'll say, we need you to do this in 30 seconds. And it's eight seconds of dialogue. So you have to find a way to make it work in the time that you're given, right? Uh, sometimes you'll have to do things so fast that they'll sound like, you know, the end of those mutual funds ads, where it's mutual like, and you'll have to do that too. And it's just, it's all very exciting. And every project that you get, especially as a voiceover artist, okay, I can't speak from the dubbing standpoint, but from the point of view of a voiceover artist, I can tell you that every project comes with a different set of challenges, okay? Realistically, the challenges will include things like technical challenges, artistic challenges, by which I mean the kind of emotions that you have to convey, um, the time that you have to do it, how fast, how slow, you know, things like that. Then of course you have things like um, clients. Some clients 
are awesome. Some clients, not so much. But we don't get to choose our clients, right? We just get to go in and do the work that we do. So it's interesting because you, you, you learn your craft, you also learn how to deal with different kinds of people because of course you're working with different kinds of people constantly. And I just think that that's an amazing part of the job, right? Which is that the people that you're working with are the people that are paying you. And you just have to find the best way to handle every one of those people so that you're happy and they're happy. But most importantly, here's the thing. This is what I've learned from you know eight years of, of doing voiceovers. And it's this, I don't work to make my clients happy. I work to make me happy, and if my clients are happy, that's a bonus, right? And I think that if you just go about life that way and you do that all the time, I think you'll be happier and the people around you will be happier, and I think that this is a great way to uh, make that happen. So again, I'm telling you, if you think you've got what it takes, just go get yourself a sample, send it out to a couple of agencies, send it to the voice store, we've got a great voice bank um, and you know you, you never know what could come from it. Um, aside from that, let's see. Um, in the eight years that I've been doing voiceovers, I would say that some of the most amazing things are when you realize how much you grow. Because in most jobs, your job changes over the years. You get a promotion, you're no longer doing the same work that you were before and so on and so forth. But with voiceovers, you're going to be doing the same thing effectively for your entire career. And so there's this, there's this one commercial that I did. Um, it was one of my first commercials. It was in the first year that, that I started. And people kind of use that as a reference. And I've heard it and I hate it. Because all I keep thinking is, my God, if I had to do that today, I'd do it so much better. And you get this really awesome um, experience because you realize how much you've grown within that one job, right? And that's something that very, very few jobs can actually give you unless you're doing exactly the same thing every day of your life. Um, so it, it, really is, it really is an awesome experience and, and I just hope that more people will, will come in and do that. Um, but I'm, I'm still trying to remember because it was eight years ago and I'm trying to remember what was the, 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 first, um, the first commercial that I ever did and I, I, I can't actually remember. But I do remember one that stands out and that was for uh, Mitsubishi Outlander. Uh, that was the shortest um, commercial I'd ever done um, because the entire voiceover was Mitsubishi Outlander. That was it. Two words. Right, um, and for those of you who um, you know who are out there watching, uh, if you're trying to figure out, maybe I sound familiar to you. Um, well, it's because in the last eight years I've done voiceovers for everyone from Airtel and Vodafone to uh, uh, to Diorex to you know Mitsubishi and Renault and Toyota and Honda and half the real estate companies in the country and you know and the list is just very 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 long and that list could be your list if you're um, you know if you if you just give it a shot and of course the other thing that I do want to talk to you guys about is um, little shows now this is this is a great idea okay so what it is is that it's all about basically supporting short films now how do we support short films um, Everything from uh, you know renting equipment and helping them out with the production processes, doing the dubbing and the music and all of that stuff is all done under one roof. And it's essentially there because most great directors were once great short film directors. Yeah? And that's a great way to sort of you know go out there and, and hone your craft. And if you can do short films and you can do them well, if you can tell a story in like, if you can tell a story in six minutes, you can definitely tell a story in 90 minutes, yeah? And that's really what it's all about. So at the end of the day, short films are really the jumping off point for cinema, for commercial cinema, right? Um, and, and so we just want to do everything that we can to support you guys. Um, so you guys know the processes, just check out the websites and all of the information. And trust me, when it comes to production and sound and things like that. The voice store is the best place, which is why I do 90% of my work right out of the voice store. In fact, there's this little joke, right? 
So remember, my name is Carrie Edwards, which means that my initials are CE. The voice store is spelt V O I C C E E. Get it? There's a double C E in there, and I keep making jokes because um, I, I say that it's because I've I've recorded there so much that it's basically my company, but it isn't my company, right? Um, Vijay and, and Gopal are great guys, and um, they're always there to support everything that we do. And now they support. Uh, now they're there to support everything that you do. And uh, honestly, I couldn't ask for better people, and neither can you. So go ahead, give it a shot, check out Little Shows, and I promise you won't be disappointed.